For this first graph, we're given a history graph, and you see that it's just a right triangle. The shape is meaningless. It's just set that way so that we have something to distinguish a front and a back. We're being asked to draw a snapshot graph five seconds later, two seconds earlier, and then two history graphs. Uh, first, this is a snapshot graph, and we can tell that because we have change in x and change in y, so we're given our amplitude at a given instant in time. What we should understand is that since this wave is moving at one meter per second, after one second, it will be like this. And pardon my lines, as always. After two seconds, it'll be here. After three seconds, the wave's gonna look like this. And so here we're just drawing this at different instances in time. And so this, the black is time zero, and then we have one, two. This is t equals three seconds. t equals zero seconds. And so actually for this, we can just keep doing this until we get to our first one, which is five seconds later. Notice how the shape of the wave stays exactly the same. Here's four seconds. And so then at t equals five seconds or five seconds after this snapshot, our wave is going to look like this. Okay, so at, if we're gonna draw this kind of as a, a separate graph, we have t equals five seconds, delta y, delta x, and we have 10, we have eight, and we have six, and we have four, and so our graph of this line at t equals five seconds is going to look like this. Okay? Now it asks for it two seconds earlier. And earlier means we're basically going back in time. And so this orange line is going to be one second before t equals zero. And then we'll use this, what is this, magenta, chartreuse, I don't know. This pink line here is going to be t equals, we'll say negative two seconds for, for lack of a better way to put it. And so if we went back in time, that's where it would have been two seconds before time zero. And if we drew it on here, on this axis, it would just look like this. Or we could draw it all the way back, actually. There we go. Okay, so that's our t equals negative two seconds. Okay. Um, then the history graphs, let's bring that back. Uh-oh. Ta-da! All right, so then our history graph asks us for <laughs> what the graph is going to look like at x equals 4, so this position, for 10 seconds. And so our axes for our history graph are going to be time in seconds and delta y in meters. And we're going to say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. And then we're going to plot this. And remember that it's moving at 1 meter per second to the right. So if we plot this at time equals 0, at 4 we're at zero. The displacement is going to be zero. Now, after one second, as we mentioned before, the wave is going to be at that point. You can see that it jumps up to 
the displacement at that position at 4 jumps up to 3. Okay, so we're up at 3, and that's more or less, we'll call it instantaneous, right? Okay, so if we're drawing our graph, it's here. Then kind of do the same thing we did before. After 2 seconds, you'll see that the displacement at x equals 4 is at 2. So let's jump back to that. So 2 seconds, we're at 2. And then this is 3 seconds later. We're at 1. Actually, I'll just do it here. Do that. And then after four seconds, you can see that the displacement is back to zero at four meters. So we're back to here. Now we'll just connect it. And then you could, it's just the one, the one wave. And so after that, it stays with zero displacement until the 10 seconds is up. Okay. So that's our history graph for that position. Imagine we're looking just at that four meter point, at the medium at that point. If for the second one, we're looking then at the eight meter point. That's really light. And that's a little bit better. Here, so the, the difference here then is that it's going to take one, two, three, four, five seconds before the medium at eight meters gets displaced. And so we go one, two, three, four, five seconds, at which point it gets displaced up. It takes three seconds to go down, and then it continues on at zero. So the blue line there would be our history graph at eight meters for 10 seconds. So that's the first one. Then for the second one, we're being asked to draw a snapshot graph four seconds later in a history graph of x equals 10. This graph though, or this wave, uh, actually has a speed of two meters per second. I'll assume it's going in this direction, two meters per second. So we're asked to draw it four seconds later. Uh, easiest thing to do is just find a point. Let's. Uh, this is an easily identifiable point. It's traveling two meters per second. And so after one second, it's going to be one, two meters further along. After two seconds, it's going to be one, two meters along. After three seconds, it's going to be one, two meters along. After four seconds, it's going to be one, two meters along. So this peak right here, after four seconds, is gonna be eight meters along, so basically at 11. And so if we kind of extend our graph a little bit here, through the magic of technology, And let's go back to using our red. So the peak is gonna be here. So our graph, or our wave rather, and we're gonna go through two, and then up. So this is where our, gra where our wave is going to be uh, four seconds later, with this being 11 meters. And since we know this goes from three, four, five, six, seven, so that distance is one, two, three, four meters. This from here to here, this portion here is gonna be 15 meters uh, further along. And there is our snapshot graph four seconds later. Then the history graph for this particular one, we're looking at, seven at x equals seven. So actually let's take all this away. 
again to the magic of technology. So we're looking at x equals 7 meters, which is this point here, uh, for 10 seconds. And so we're going to say, you can see at time 0, the displacement is negative 2. Actually, let's draw some axes here. You can draw this down here. Negative 1, negative 2, positive 1, positive 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Time in seconds. Displacement in meters. And we're going to say at time equals 0, the displacement is negative 2. So we're down here. Remember that the wave is going in this direction. So after one second, it's going to have gone 2 meters to the right. So that means this portion is going to be here, so we're at zero. And then after two seconds, this portion right here is going to be there, so we're up to two. And then after one more second, it's gonna have traveled another two meters. And so our graph is going to look like this. And then after this whole wave passes by, there's zero displacement. And the rest of the graph will look like that. So you can see it's compressed because we're, our wave is moving two meters per second. We're looking at it per second. Uh, so it doesn't look exactly like the original wave, and that's okay because it's a different type of plot. Um, so there's the solutions to those two particular problems. Uh, if you have other questions, please don't hesitate to shoot me an email um, or stop by tomorrow and I can go over it with you in more detail if this wasn't enough. I will see you on Wednesday.